Hillman, and I am the field crop entomologist at Ohio State University. And I'm going to talk today about western bean cutworm in corn. Western bean cutworm is a pest of corn in Ohio that has been becoming increasingly important in the last five years or so. And one of the catches with this is that the types of BT that used to somewhat manage this pest is no longer effective. And so that makes scouting and knowing when to apply a foliar treatment particularly important. A little bit about western bean cutworm biology. This is a moth slash caterpillar pest. And the moths fly into corn in July, uh, typically in July, lay their eggs. Those eggs hatch into caterpillars that then feed on the corn, causing either direct yield loss from their feeding or also uh, potentially reducing the quality of the grain through molds and fungus that can set in when the ears are opened up. Scouting for western bean cutworm is a two-step process. First of all, you need to know when the moths are active and flying because this is when the eggs are going to be laid in the field. And the best way to do this is with a trap. This we have an example of a moth trap. What these types of traps have in common is a pheromone lure that draws adult moths in and then they get caught in the bucket. We use this to determine when the moths are active, when they're flying, because this determines when they're going to be entering the field and laying eggs. When you start to reliably catch moths in your trap, it's time to start the actual field scouting component. You want to focus your scouting on corn that is in pre-tassel or just starting to tassel, because this is the favorite place for western bean cutworm moths to lay their eggs. The way you scout is you uh, select a location in the field and you examine 20 plants. And you want to do that in five different parts of the field. So you want to aim to look at about 100 plants in each field that you check. Western bean cutworm moths are a little bit picky about where they lay their eggs. They like to lay their eggs on the top uh, three or four leaves of the plant. So that makes scouting a lot easier. You can focus your effort on the top newest vegetation in the plant. If you are finding that 5% of the plants you look at have egg masses, that's the point where we recommend a foliar treatment. Now you have to catch the little caterpillars that hatch from those eggs before they move into the ear. As they move into the uh, developing ear, they will feed inside the ear and they're protected from the insecticide. Most of the uh, foliar products uh, containing pyrethroids that are labeled for corn and for western bean cutworm are fairly effective yet in Ohio. There is a new BT protein, the VIP3A protein, that is uh, still effective against western bean cutworm, but this is a less widely distributed right now in Ohio. So particularly until that becomes more commonly available, we really recommend that you uh, maintain a good scouting program for this pest in Ohio.